Is anything going to change with the next Fed chair? I, I, I don't think so. I, if, if what people probably think is that the reason that, that this low vol is, is around is because in some way the Fed is supporting the stock market, and I don't believe that that's the case. I think that what you have is, well, my, they're very accommodative, but what you have is an economy which looks terrific. Recessionary risks are really super low. We wrote about that this morning, and when recessionary risks are low, it's not only good for stock multiples and stock returns, but it's also, it, it keeps volatility uh, very tight. Well, that money market fund example that we've used, it's a joke, but at the same time, some people have done it. Because low rates have been so low, so that the Federal Reserve has, has done some of the hard work, some of the heavy lifting here, Jonathan. What, what, and there's no question, if you were, for example, saving for your kid's college education, and before you'd be uncomfortable leaving all of it in stocks right you know, up to the point where they're, they're going into college or you're retiring, if the drawdowns, and we haven't seen a, a large drawdown in a very, very long time, if the drawdowns are weaker, so you leave a little bit extra in the market, and ultimately that changes behavior and pushes stocks higher. So, Jonathan, you referred to your study that just came out this morning, your, right. your note that just came out this morning about recession risks right. and how low they are. How much of that is because, in fact, this market is so unloved? The fact is it has not broken out. It has not been too robust. And in the past, hasn't that often triggered the recession because you get runaway inflation and then you get a policy mistake? No, I mean, mar markets don't drive economies. Economies drive the market. But the, the most important, and there was one chart in, uh, in the report which showed, yes, this is a long recovery, longer than normal. But first of all, it's the third longest in the last 75 years. So it's not... It's not absolutely crazy, but the total size of the recovery, the amount of economic growth you've had in aggregate is way below average. And that's what really pushes you to the end. The question is, how much total growth have you had since your last recession? And on that metric, we, we potentially have years longer for this to go.